All righty, my good old friends of YouTube, listen up. We're going to break down three stocks in this video that are looking pretty good, in my opinion, in the midst of an overall mixed bag type of day for the stock market where the S&P is barely green. It looks like the Nasdaq's up 0.6%, but the Russell's down 0.5%, and we have the Dow down a quarter of a percent. So we're going to break down these three stocks in this video, and maybe, 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 if we have time, we'll break down the indexes later in the video so hit that like button make sure to subscribe and you might as well get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo Moo guys fund your account that lease a hundred bucks using that link down below you get five stocks and fund it with that lease a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and the thing is each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars guys so get on it while the promo lasts link down below again up to 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars and with that being said guys cheers Let's dive right into the video. So it's currently about 1 p.m., 1.15 p.m. on the East Coast. And again, guys, it's looking like a mixed bag day, at least as of now, for the entire stock market where we have half the indexes in the green and the other half in the red where the VIX is pretty much flat as well. It's up a little bit, 0.4%. Uh, but yeah, it's that type of day. And we have the metals, it looks like, up a little bit. Gold's up 0.6, silver's up 0.7%. So we're still chopping around when it comes to SPY. You know, that's been the case here for the past a uh, couple of weeks as the entire year so far has been a uh, roller coaster ride to say the least you guys can see spy has been moving all the way from 477 to the mid 460s back to almost 480 now we're back to the low 470s so spy's been all over the place and triple q of course has also been all over the place you can see from 413 to 393 now today guys we actually hit 413 earlier we tested that all time high got rejected and now we're down to about 410 so this again all these indexes guys have been all over and we'll touch upon these again maybe later in the video or at some point later on today so make sure you all subscribe hit that notification bell while you're at it so let's dive into these three stocks guys which are moving pretty nicely today in the midst of a pretty rocky day for the stock market. So number one, we have DraftKings. Do you guys remember we called this out about a week or two ago? Not to toot my own horn, but we did call this out. And oh boy, has it been breaking out. Starting yesterday, actually, we started breaking out when we were at about 34, 35 bucks. And now we're starting to break towards, well, we're at 36.60 now. And earlier we were almost at $38 per share so you guys can see we're now completely breaking out above the moving averages on the four hour chart and by the way this was my previous analysis from a couple of videos ago or rather a couple of days ago ma many videos ago at this point considering how many videos i make these days uh but yeah i mean look DraftKings. about a week ago we covered it when it was in this channel and i told you guys look if we break out of the channel and start cracking above those moving averages we could really be taken off and that's kind of what we're noticing right now on DKNG up 4.5% on the day up over a dollar 50 it's at 3660 right now so let's see if this breakout continues and maybe we start going towards the higher 30s maybe we crack $40 per share so this looks really good in my opinion DKNG moving like no other today again in the midst of an overall choppy volatile type of day so the next one I want to go over here with you guys is ARM, also known as Arm Holdings, the company that went public a couple of months ago, and now it's finally starting um, to find its ground. Not saying that it's going to just go up, up, and away from here for sure, but, you know, typically when companies IPO, it's, uh, you know, initially they go down a little bit, they run up, they sell off even more, they chop around, then they ultimately start to find their direction at least and you know for, for the beginning stages of them being a publicly traded company and that's kind of what we're seeing right now they went public back in uh september it looks like they sold down to about 46 dollars. they sold off a little bit more actually no that was the bottom uh, at least for now then they then they rebounded off that point but overall guys it took them a good two two and a half months uh, before they even got back to the price they IPO'd at. And of course, now we're starting to break past that point. And I'm not saying for sure 
that we're not going to see that low again, the 46 low. Uh, for all we know, we go back and test that. I have no idea. But as of now, Arm Holdings is starting to turn. Uh, it's been turning to the upside. And on the four-hour chart, it's now starting to break out again after we saw a bit of a sell-off from 78 79 bucks, where we hit uh, we hit that in the end of December. So we sold off from that point to about $66, saw a big support, or that was a big support, and we held it a couple of days ago. And since that point, we're now starting to break out. So let's see if Arm Holdings, guys, can successfully take out the highs from it looks like about a week, two weeks ago. We hit 73, which is where we're at now. So if we do break out of that point, let me set my alert now at $73. Mark is at or above. We could start filling the gap to 78, 79. Then if that were to break, man, we could be going even higher. But overall, arm holdings is above the moving averages up over 3% on the day today, and it's looking pretty dang good in my opinion. And by the way, please do your own research, guys. I'm not telling you to go buy, trade, do anything out there. I'm not a financial advisor, by the way, so do your own research and understand trading is very risky, and when you're dealing with short-term fluctuations in the stock market, it's risky. You guys got to realize that, so please do your own research. And the last stock for this video, guys, is CCL, which you all probably remember, um, you know, took a bit of a beating from around, let's see, um, 1975 down to about 1650. Now it's finding its footing at about 1650 to $17. And this one's not quite yet exploding or breaking out, but it's potentially on the verge of doing so. It's up a little bit on the day today, and we have been holding about 1650, 17 bucks the past week or two. Now I'm looking to see if we can retake these moving averages or if we're going to see the descending triangle play out, which obviously would not be a good sign uh, for the bulls in the short term. But at this point, man, we're pretty beaten down. We're down from 20 bucks to where we are now, 15%. We're in correction territory, pretty oversold on the RSI. We could argue that we have a bullish divergence as well. So maybe we do start taking out the mid 17, 17, 17, 50, which it's not guaranteed, obviously. And again, we're not really getting the confirmation of that yet. But if we do start seeing a push towards 17, mid 17s, we break the moving averages on the four hour chart. CCL could really be taken off from that point. And uh, that's going to be a trading opportunity in my personal opinion. So CCL, ARM and DKNG are the three that I'm watching uh, right now. My alerts are set. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Pretty much. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, Moo, each up to $2,000. Fund your account at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks. And fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And again, each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars so get on it use that mumu link down below and with that being said i'll catch you guys later